Hey, what's going on everybody? So listen, in the last four parts to my my forex journey, I have explained to you guys how I first made the realization of the financial markets, how I transitioned from high school to the work world, and how losing my jobs eventually motivated me to have this great ambition and to go you know, go really, you know, I guess go after my my real estate dreams. So, in the last video, I had told you guys about me going through the training this is my actual uh, certificate that I was able to get from Long and Foster. All right. Then that's this is dated back uh, March 13, 2004. And then of course this was the um, you know the um, the real estate commission license through PSI. You guys may not be familiar with that, but that's where you know you acquire your license and all that stuff. And this was the actual application that. I never actually, I never activated my my um, my test. Because once you activate, it, I think if I remember correctly, you have like a year to take it. But um, but nonetheless, having that behind me, it infused such, it it, it gave me such ambition and encouragement. Like you know what. What I had what I had experienced a year before, less than a year before, that was so far behind me. So what I did was, um, remember, I, I had just met this guy, um, and this guy had showed me supposedly how to start a business, and it was his mishap, his mishap, and getting me the right information so I can get myself on the right plane. That mishap on his part gave me the motivation to learn how to do it the right way. And that's where I had gone through, um, I put myself through corporate development training. All right, and this was an, this was an online training, I put myself through corporate development training, learn how to, you know, corp I learned corporate structure, um, just everything, corporate credit, all this stuff that I had learned through, just because this guy, he had, through this guy's mishap, I'll say that. So it forced me to know how to do it the right way. All right? And less than six months after I actually, um, less than six, matter of fact, one second. Less than six months after I had um, completed my, my test, I started many different I guess I, I started businesses all right I started my I started a cleaning company I started my real estate firm and that same real estate firm I still operate to this day all right and it was because I did not want to fail anymore all right I did not want to fail I had I went on this I went on this um, on this path of just trying to, or or I went on this path to just retaining all this information, all this information, just on business, on uh, because mind you, I was in a bad situation on the personal side. Although at this point, 2004, I I had put myself through real estate school, I still had that bad credit baggage. I was dragging it along. So I was stuck. <laughs> so what happened was I had um I guess maybe 2002 funny story. About 2002 this is back when MySpace was out. MySpace was out and and um 2003, you know, early 2000s I had um I had had a profile on MySpace. You guys remember back then, you know, 50 Cent, he was out, and everybody had 50 Cent's, uh, um, his song on, you know, where you open up your MySpace page and the song playing, and uh, I would ask my sister, because I didn't comprehend, and mind you, she was younger, but I didn't comprehend how to make a, make a picture clickable. I didn't comprehend that. I didn't know how to do that. 
Because, I mean, I roll over a picture and you can't click on it. But I see other people, you go on and click on it and the picture would take you to another page. And I'm like, how do you do that? So once I learned, once I kept asking her, she said, oh, look, you need to learn this yourself. And no, 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 I take that back. She said, oh, you, you know, I'm tired of showing you this all the time. Because I didn't, I didn't comprehend it. I didn't know and, and it was something new. So I was excited to learn. So what happened was I got tired of asking her for help. I said, you know what, I'm going to learn this. So I started doing my little research online. Started doing my little research and I eventually found out how to do it. And you see that motivated me to learn how to build eventually websites. And once I learned how to build websites, like I said, you know, I was coming from a space where I lost everything. Matter of fact, the, 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 the same computer that I purchased I purchased this computer from Finger Hut. <laughs> That's crazy. The, my first computer I owned, I lost that in storage. So I, w I couldn't connect with I couldn't connect with online at this time. This is you know online was in its infancy. This is when it was like literally brand new, less than ten years old. So um, so I, I you know I lost all of that stuff, and um, so I, I got myself on track where. You know, here I am a year later, I, I had completed the um, Long of Foster's training to get me to at least have the ability to go to the board and take my, take my, take my exams, my, my two exams. I, I didn't go that far. I didn't, I didn't want it. You know, I, I knew what I wanted and I went after and I did exactly that. But not to jump over my, you know, certain, certain things that happened in transition. What had happened was I started my real estate firm. And mind you, I'm at this time, I'm doing a lot of things. I'm real estate, uh, you know, I'm, I'm focused on real estate. You know, here I am trying to hold down a job too. And I have all these things. I'm living underneath someone's home and that, that didn't sit well with me because I was, I was so independent before. So that didn't sit well with me. So what had happened was being the kind of person that I am, I was never a slouch, always determined, always ambitious. I had, I said, you know what? Um, I told, I told my girl at the time, I said, you know, we need to, uh, find us another, another place. You know, we, we need to really think about it. We're going to be serious. Think about finding a place together. And we did that. All right. And um, I remember, I remember that year, I think I, I started my business. Cause I started, I changed the name to this business, 725, I mean, 2005. Um, and this is this is just my folder where I kept I keep all of my business um, state documents and stuff. And this is yeah. I, I had I had started I started the business, and what had happened was um, I decided you know I'm gonna change the name. And I, you know, because I'm just being excited. You start your own business, you're excited. You don't, I didn't really put a lot of thought into it. I just wanted to have a business. And then once I started to sit down and think about the marketing side of things, when I started thinking like big, like really big, I said, well, I want to create something that's going to be impactful, that people are going to be, be able to remember. And that's when I changed the name and I went from there. And I'm talking about literally, I'll say, within, no, during this time, I was still reading up. I was still, um, st I still had attended a few seminars. I was still very, um, very uh, busy with the real estate side of things, but I was still working. And of course, I hated my job. Like, man, I just want to do real estate. I don't want to be working for nobody. Like, screw that. And um, what had happened was, um, the, the business that I had, I had, I said, you know what? I need to give myself some business cards. I need to, I need to look apart. I need to be professional with this. I got business cards and I 
found my first real estate deal. Found my first real estate deal, and uh, I'm going to talk about the real estate side in more in depth when I, as I told you guys before in a previous video, I'm gonna I'm gonna assist folks on the real estate side because I know that a lot of people actually contact me about real estate. Hey, how can I get started? But I'm gonna explain all of that then. Um, but I, I found a deal and I walked away, I wholesaled a deal for a $15,000 profit. And with that, it helped me realize, wow, I could really make a lot of money in this field. I could do this. Now, my girl at the time, we moved out. We moved out of her mom's apartment. We got our own spot. Everything was good. At this point, that's when I started the cleaning service. Everything was good. Um, because I thought to myself, well, what, what would be better for me to have, you know, a real estate firm. My idea was to buy these properties, fix them up, sell them. I could have my own company come and clean them and whatever. I could, you know, whatever. So this is just the way that my, my, my mind thought. What had happened was... Um, I took the 15 grand and I went and I had acquired more property with it. I had I had the reserves now to be able to not go all out and buy a thousand properties. That's you can't do that with that kind of money. But I could entertain other properties. And I did that. Within one year's time, within one year's time, I had acquired I had owned five properties and I was wholesaling a couple along the way watch this so for a side as a as a business owner and professional I keep all of my all of my documents and these right here are my my hood ones for those of you who don't know uh, settlement statements and all that stuff these are my these are my my uh, my hood ones to my properties that I had acquired back then. Um, I, I had really shown myself that, man, just less than two years ago, I had lost what I, I lost everything. And now I'm young and I have acquired five properties and had a couple properties that I was just flipping or wholesaling to other people along the way amazing okay now let me let me explain this this is when I realized that you know what real estate is where I needed to be I need to be in real estate there were there were certain things that happened um, during this time that there was a lot of stuff on the on the financial side that happened during this time um, I think at, at some point I got connected with um, with um, my my buddy. He's also he's older, much wiser guy. He's he's into or um, well, he was into stocks, and well he's into stocks and stuff like that. And it's funny at this point I'm getting him into forex. Um, there was. There was a company. There was a company that he had put me on to, made me aware of. And this company, um, it it really hurt us because I was in a position now where I could I could I could put up some money, a sizable amount of money. And what had happened was, um, long story short, this company. You guys can check it out. It's called Petro America. And um, this guy, what what he did was he was taking folks' money, had them thinking that this company was it was penny stocks. Because I'm, while I'm talking about real estate right now, along my journey, I was doing penny stocks. Okay, I was I was doing penny stocks, and. Um, um, so at, at this time I was doing penny stocks and um, 
and there was there were there were some that that my buddy Marv he told me about. Hey, listen, you you know, look, check this one out, check this one out, and we would bounce ideas off each other. So um, this guy, he's you know, we're we're like this. What had happened was, and I could probably do, I could probably share this in a in a totally different video, but um, yeah, I'm gonna tell you guys how Marv and I how we got connected. I'm gonna explain that, and and I guess in my next video I'll, I'll explain it, but. Um, what had happened was, um, actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna explain, I'm gonna explain this company Petro America, along with what happened with um, with Marv and I in a in a video on its own. I'm gonna finish up with real estate right here up to this point, 2004, 2005. Uh, what had happened was, this real estate had it opened my eyes to the possibilities. I started meeting people. And everywhere I went, it was someone they knew something about real estate, and they. This is when I started to really get my professional one. This is when I started to. If you guys check out my website, www.usubscott.com, you guys will know, like, um, you know, it's it's really amazing when you start to meet certain people. In fact, there was there was a a quote, and I want to make sure that I read it verbatim, but there there was a quote that. Um, There was a quote that I put on my um, my website, and let's see. And it, it says verbatim: "Applied knowledge and discipline guarantees a life of wealth and success." That's when I first started to. I started to realize, man, I've tapped into something that I'll be able to have this forever. In my next video, I'm going to share with you guys what happened with Marv and I, uh, how we met. Um, crazy story. Sometimes, you know, divine intervention is is it's like amazing. All right. Um, I'll share it with you guys in, in the next video. All right?